Welcome to another Ziva Math video. In this video, we're going to learn how to change a number written in scientific notation into standard form. Standard form or standard notation is the basic way of writing a number. Scientific notation is a way to express very large and very small numbers more concisely or more simply using a coefficient and a power of 10. Your coefficient is a number that has to be between 1 and 10. And then we have the exponent. A positive exponent represents a number that's larger than 1. If the exponent's negative, it represents a number between 0 and 1, or a small decimal number. Let's take a look at our examples. This example, we have 2 and 73 hundredths times 10 to the fourth power, a number written in scientific notation. And we're going to change this into standard form by starting with the coefficient of 2 and 73 hundredths. Next, we need to think about moving that decimal point, and we move that decimal point based on what the exponent is. In this case, our exponent is 4. It tells us we have a number larger than 1 also tells us we're going to be moving that decimal point to the right. And we're going to move the decimal point the same number of places as our exponent. So our exponent's 4. We're going to move our decimal point 4 places to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't have any digits after the 3, so I'm going to fill these in with zeros. Now I have the decimal point at the end of my number, and it's 27,300, and we're going to add the comma to 27,300 because that's how we write numbers in standard form. In this example, we have 1 in 65 hundredths times 10 to the negative third power, a number written in scientific notation that we want to change to standard form. And to do that, we're going to start with the coefficient of 1 and 65 hundredths. Then we're going to take a look at the exponent. In this case, we have a negative exponent, which means that our number is smaller than 1. It also means that we're going to take the decimal and we're going to move it to the left. Moving it to the left creates a number that is smaller than 1. So we're going to move our decimal to the left three times because our exponent is negative 3. So we're going to move the exponent 1, 2, three times. I don't have any digits to the left of the 1, so I'm going to be filling those in with zeros, and then my decimal point ends up at the front of the number. To write this number in standard form, we also put a 0 in front of the decimal. Once we've placed that 0 in front of the decimal, this is our final answer. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to Ziva Math for more videos.